Minecraft, perfectly normal. Real life. Minecraft on Vita is amazing. I'm not going to describe the gameplay to you this time because I'm pretty sure you already know it. So in this video I'm going more about what there is to know about the Vita version, if you're already familiar with Minecraft. Ok, so Minecraft Vita is Minecraft version 1.84, meaning that it does not have stuff like Village and Pillage, Buzzy Bees and the Nether update. But even so, version 1.84 offers a lot. There are plenty of materials, you can google this version to see what you get in detail. And on Vita, before starting the game, you can download skin packs and texture packs and you get some pre-made worlds made after video games and they are so cool. So you can see that the Vita version is the same as the PS3 version. Also if you bought the PS3 version, there's a big chance you can download the Vita version for free, as Minecraft on PS3 is cross buy meaning that if you bought either of the versions you have both, and saved worlds are transferable between PS3 and Vita. But crossplay is limited to that. You can transfer worlds from for example the Windows edition or the Pocket edition to your Vita due to Sony refusing to make it possible on their consoles. Currently Sony has not released any official explanation as to why. Another impressive fact about the Vita version is that it has multiplayer, both online and ad hoc. Ad hoc multiplayer, if you're not familiar with the term, means that if you have another friend with a Vita and Minecraft installed, if you activate your ad hoc and stay close, you can play co-op without needing an internet connection. It supports up to 4 players in ad hoc. Also, I consider the Vita version the second best portable version, the best being the Switch version. Having physical buttons makes the game feel better than the Pocket Edition with touch controls. But yeah, Pocket Edition is up to date, whereas the Vita version is stuck back in time. It's still fun to play and offers infinite replay value, but yeah, it sucks that it doesn't receive updates anymore. The console is capable, but there is no one to do it. But even so, if you have a Vita and like Minecraft, this one is a must have. It's Minecraft on the go. And it feels and runs well, it has a lot to offer, the draw distance is a little bit short, but in rest I can't complain about anything. Ok, maybe about the lack of updates, but that's complicated. So yeah, if you have a Vita and like Minecraft, this is a must get.